Warning. The following content might make you tear up. Viewer discretion highly advised. The small town of Willowbrook had always held a special place in Emily's heart. Its cobblestone streets, charming cafes, and the tranquil river that wound through its heart had been witnesses to her most cherished memories. But time had passed, and life had taken her far from the town she once called home. As Emily stood on the familiar bridge that overlooked the river, she couldn't help but let her mind drift back to the summer of her 18th year, a summer filled with youthful dreams and a love that had burned brightly. It had been six years since she last saw Daniel, the boy who had captured her heart, and left it aching when he left town to pursue his studies abroad. The sun began to dip below the horizon, casting a warm orange glow over the water. Emily's thoughts were interrupted by the soft chime of a bicycle bell. She turned to see a young man riding toward her, his dark hair tousled by the wind. Her heart skipped a beat as she recognized him, Daniel. He parked his bicycle by the bridge and approached her with a grin that mirrored her own mix of surprise and joy. Emily, he asked, his voice tinged with a mixture of disbelief and happiness. Daniel, she whispered, her voice filled with a mixture of longing and nostalgia. As if pulled by an invisible force, they closed the distance between them, their eyes locked in an embrace that spoke of a connection that had never truly faded. The years melted away as they held each other, and for a moment, it was as if time had reversed, bringing them back to that fateful summer when they were just two young souls discovering the magic of love. Is this real? Emily murmured, her fingers clutching at the fabric of Daniel's shirt. He pulled back slightly, his eyes filled with emotion as he looked at her. It feels like a dream, but it's real, he said, his voice gentle and sincere. They moved to a nearby bench, sitting side by side as the river flowed before them. The silence between them was comfortable, as if the years apart had only deepened their connection. I thought about you every day, Daniel confessed, his gaze fixed on the water. Even when I was halfway around the world, I couldn't shake the feeling that a part of me was still here, waiting for the moment I'd see you again. Emily smiled, a tear escaping her eye as she wiped it away. I felt the same way. Willowbrook never felt quite the same without you. As the sun sank lower, painting the sky in shades of pink and gold, they began to share the stories of their years apart. Daniel's tales of new cities, new experiences, and the challenges he'd faced were met with Emily's stories of her career and the friendships she'd formed. Yet, amid the laughter and anecdotes, there was an unspoken understanding that neither had truly moved on from the love they had shared. I still have that old book of poetry you gave me, Emily admitted with a shy smile. It's been on my bedside table all these years. Daniel chuckled softly, his gaze locked on her. I hoped you'd keep it close. Their laughter gradually faded, replaced by a poignant silence. Emily turned to Daniel, her eyes filled with vulnerability. Do you ever wonder, what could have been? Daniel's expression grew serious as he looked at her. Every day, Emily. Every day, the words hung in the air like a fragile thread, connecting their hearts across the years. With a sudden impulse, Emily reached for Daniel's hand, intertwining her fingers with his. It was as if they were bridging the gap that time had created, as if their love was strong enough to overcome the obstacles life had thrown in their path. Emily, Daniel began, his voice soft but determined. I don't want to spend another moment wondering what could have been. I want to be a part of your life again, to create new memories together. Tears welled up in Emily's eyes as she looked at him, her heart pounding with hope. And what if it's not the same? What if we've changed? Daniel's thumb brushed gently against the back of her hand. We may have grown and changed, but the connection we shared. I believe it's still there. And we won't know unless we try. As darkness settled over Willowbrook, the stars began to twinkle in the sky. Emily and Daniel stayed on the bench, wrapped in each other's presence, and in the quiet moments, they felt the weight of their unspoken desires and the shared longing that had brought them back together. I want to try, Emily finally said, her voice carrying a mixture of hope and vulnerability. Daniel turned to her, his eyes shining in the moonlight. 
I want to try too, Emily. And in that moment, as the town around them slept, the lovers made a silent promise to each other. They were no longer bound by the past or the uncertainty of the future. Instead, they held on to the present, a gift that they would cherish and nurture, knowing that love, when it's true and enduring, has the power to rewrite destinies. Hand in hand, they walked through the familiar streets, sharing stories, laughter, and stolen glances that spoke of a love that had come full circle. As they reached the bridge where they had met, they paused, their eyes locking in a silent understanding that they were meant to be together, a truth that had stood the test of time. Underneath the starlit sky, Daniel and Emily shared a kiss, a kiss that held all the unspoken words, all the hopes and dreams, and all the echoes of a love that had found its way back home. And as their lips met, it was as if the universe itself had conspired to reunite two souls that had always belonged together.